Hello, this is a quick how to debug your Node.js code with Cloud9. My name is Augusto Gonçalves and I'm a developer advocate at Autodesk. So uh, for to do this, we need, of course, we need a Cloud9 account, we need a Autodesk Forge account, and you can uh, find a source code that you want to debug. You can have this code from your source or you can you know, just get one code on our GitHub and debug that code. So let's do it. So let me go to GitHub and I'm going to search for a, a, a random sample uh, using Autodesk Forge. So for, for this case, I'm going to find a project that I did myself, um, but I'm using a different account. So let's get this sample for instance, and you can uh, uh, get this code and just fork this from uh, the Autodesk repository to your repository. So let's fork it. And uh, let's change the settings. Let's say this is a debug sample and rename. Okay, so I have a debug sample on my account that is a copy from the original one. Okay, so let's go to, to Cloud9. And uh, I can have here the repositories. And let's say I want to connect to Git, GitHub. Let's say connect. Sometimes when I click here, it's not opening. So just, just wait for it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I have the debug sample that is coming from GitHub on my uh, Cloud9 account. And I'm going to make a copy of that. And I want to call it debug sample. Here's the name that is coming from GitHub. And I want to make it a Node.js application and create repository. Just wait for it. So Cloud9 is now pre preparing the uh, environment. So let's go to the Forge and create our new application that, that, that is going to the key and secret we need for this sample. So this is a debug sample application. Uh, how to debug Node.js with Cloud nine and uh, that's the important piece we need the callback URL so let's come back here and uh, just to see the URL of this sample let's open the start file and uh, run it so it's saying that this is the uh, URL but let's let's copy this and place here for a while but if you we look at the documentation at the README, it says, uh, let's come back at the, the main, main, main page. It says that uh, all the, the files, you are using this localhost 3, 3000 API for callback as a callback URL. But in our case, we are debugging this online, it's not a local host. So let's copy this piece and place here. So that's that's it. that's where our sample is. So it's the bug sample under my account on cloud9users.io slash API slash forge slash callback slash OAuth. So that's the callback we have. So let's create the app. Okay, now we have the app with the key ID and secret and callback. Let's uh, copy this client ID, go back here, and on our uh, debug let's say we want to set the environment so forge client id and that's the id we also need the client secret so forge client secret and finally we need the callback url forge callback URL. That's it. Now uh, we can debug this code, except that we need to npm install the packages for this application. Uh, just, just wait a moment. So it's creating the node modules package. Just wait for it. And it's downloading all the packages from npm to Cloud9. Should be done soon. Okay, so let's come back here and uh, run this again. So 
so the server is now running let me uh, open this page just to avoid uh, uh, mixing uh, sessions let me open a new browser just to avoid uh, mixing sessions so that's my my code my sample I, I mean uh, running on cloud9 and I can I can go back to my code and set up a breakpoint let's say I want to see the callback coming from Autodesk so uh, that's the callback router so let's set a breakpoint just click on this gray area you see uh, this uh, uh, red circle so let's come back to our sample and sign in so now now the code is running on debug mode and I can just log in with my account any account and it's saying that uh, that debug sample is trying to access my information so debug sample is trying to access my information I'm going to allow that and uh, you see the code is stopped now and if I come back I can see all the environment all the, the, the call stack the local variables and I, if I mouse over I can see the, 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 uh, the values and I have all the features here like uh, resume, uh, step in, step out, etc. And I can just, let's say, F10, move to the next line, F10 again, move to the next line, and uh, see all the variables. And I can expand everything that I have on, uh, on, the, on a regular de uh, debug environment. So if I hit uh, resume, I go to the end of the code. And if I come back here, I can see that the page is now completed. So that's it, how to debug your uh, sample with Cloud9 using the Autodesk Forge key. Yep.